Welcome, welcome, welcome to Pretty Lies and Ugly Truths, where you can either die with the lie or... The truth will set you free. And I am the Alex E. Miller, and that lovely voice of reason you just heard was... Koya Vegan Mamiana. All right. And as we always do here at Pretty Lies and Ugly Truths, we allow the guests to introduce themselves, treat it like the first day of school, first day on the job, <laughs> everything they don't know, they need to know, what they should already know. Whenever you're ready, the floor is yours. Jeez, put me on the spot. Uh, well, I'm Marley. Um, trying to get these guys out of the way. Um, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> this is going to be a little difficult over here. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I've been in Florida for 22 years now. I was born in Puerto Rico, moved here when I was nine. Um, not really much to tell about me. Okay. All right. Well, well Go. let's say if, if there was a book or a movie, right, mm -hmm. about the story of your life, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what would the title of that book or that, or that movie be? We can start there. Uh, honestly, it's it's so many different titles that can go to that. <laughs> so we'll start, we'll start with one. Go with one. We'll bring some together. Huh. Something along the lines of like Napoleon Dynamite. I haven't seen that one yet. You haven't seen Napoleon I not, Dynamite? Uh, I got to explain my horizon. <laughs> you flipping. Seen Friday. <laughs> uh, have you seen it? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. So y'all so y'all educate me on Napoleon Di Dynamite, and that's going to help me see on how It's we, a very we... corny movie. Yeah, he's okay. dope. It's, dope. it's, it's, dope. it's like, it's so dumb, it's funny. Yeah. It's so dumb, it's funny. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those, like, this is a movie. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. It has its moments. You got to, like, just be that type of person. Yeah, you just got to be. Watch it where you're like, this is just fun. You know, and it's like that weird where you can't like stop watching it because it's like so weird. You're like, okay. It's like, yeah. this is really, this is a movie. Yeah. <laughs> La Fonda. <laughs> so so we're we going to we gonna title the movie uh, Weird and Corny Marley. See, I don't know. I don't really have a ring. That's not this. right. That's not it. Because this is the thing is, I'm weird. Me. I'm weird. I'm corny. I'm funny. I'm loving. I'm I'm the whole nine. So there's there's like so there we go. I like that. The whole nine. The misunderstood. The whole. Nine. The whole, the whole nine. It, yes. Would it be like the misunderstood, that? Misunderstood. The whole yeah. nine. Everything. All of that. Because yeah. so when you're all of that, you're usually misunderstood. Because yeah. people like. Really, you know what I mean? Cause they you, take you the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. They don't know which way you're going with things. Why do people find I'm Marley weird? Hmm? Why do people find Marley weird? People might not find me weird. I find myself weird. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. a they're gonna point it out. Oh, Marley's just weird. No, Marley's yeah. gonna point out that Marley's weird. What's weird about Marley? Everything. 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 It, it's a moment thing. I just do weird things. I just okay. whatever comes to mind, I'm all for it. <laughs> you, right. you live in the moments. I definitely live in the moment. Right. I, I am a Gemini, so yes. Okay, a couple moments. <laughs> <laughs> I live in in plenty moments, right. <laughs> multiple moments. Yeah, I have what two? No, yeah, two that are Gemini. Two children. Two daughters. Oh, how fun. Yeah. And one cancer. They're all in June. So, mm. Yeah. I'm yeah. a June baby, too, so it's not uh -huh. going to be that bad. But June what? <laughs> Ju so, with zodiac signs, I'm not too into it, but um, like a May Gemini is different from a June Gemini. Right. Gotcha. They and have like the same further than that. base description, but certain things play into how they are as a gotcha, person. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm June 23rd, so I'm a cancer right on the cusp of Gemini. But I, I'd be lying to you if I said I knew about all the zodiac signs like that and the extent I, of what I they just, do, what they mean. Yeah, I just feel yeah. emotional. That's all I hear. I, yeah, I just you know? know from experience and just 
interacting with people. It's Do you like, usually oh, go by that, like zodiac sign and stuff? Are you like no? Because, yeah. like I said, with with zodiac signs, me personally, I feel like it's a canvas. This is what you're starting with. This is what a Gemini is. This is okay. like the root to a Gemini. But also, you know, you're raised a certain way. Your yeah. morals are, you know, it's it, yeah. everything else plays a part into who you are as a person. But your traits, it, it boils down to the description. Like, yeah, we were just speaking on it. And I, I told people I, I, I make, you know, people have, forget that genetics are really a thing. Like, they're yeah. almost, it's almost everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's like the biggest thing. Like, you could be a sign, but depending on your parents right depending on your lifestyle how you were yeah. raised everything mm-hmm. everything plays a part into it it's not just, just oh well gemini's yeah. are two-faced so screw yeah. them yeah yeah yeah, not, yeah 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 or like scorpios are just hornballs which it's true but it's not <laughs> like you know it's, it's not like gemini- <laughs> yeah. it's not it's not like who they are though like and then the thing with gemini's too is when they say they're two-faced it's not that they're fake a lot of people take the two-faced thing and be like, oh, well, you can't trust the Gemini because they just read the room. They read the room. Yeah. It's, I, it's I reading the room. It's, I like to call ourselves chameleons because we just adapt. You throw us anywhere and we just blend in. We, like with my daughter, my oldest, she's a Gemini and she, and she's a teenager. So I see her already as a person, like an adult, you know, she's growing right. into that. And I can see with her dealing with friends it's just with her one day I might feel like dealing with you and one day I don't and she it's a light switch she doesn't care about when that it, switches she doesn't care it about happens it. Still weird we can't like, help it like, I just don't feel like that right now I don't feel like that we're, today. we're natural born bipolar <laughs> yeah so it's not be like you said it's not two-faced I've never seen every two-faced no like, it's not a two-faced like, thing just, it's, it's not a day that's all um, <laughs> we we wear multiple hats as well we're very yeah. like I said we could just we you throw us somewhere and we're gonna pick up on that and just blend right in right make it work some of us are perfectionists so we take it to the extent where you give me this and i'm gonna better it okay i'm I'm gonna match it and then find a way to just perfect and go beyond right right so you're speaking about moments earlier um if you wouldn't mind because you have quite a few tattoos right so they do (laughs) <laughs> each, of, each of the moments that you got those, I'm pretty sure it was something different going on in your mind. If you wouldn't mind just telling us a story behind those tattoos, when did you get the first one, the most recent one, and just kind of dive into what inspired each of the tattoos and what they are. Okay, so um, I actually like talking about my tattoos because my tattoos, most of them actually have a meaning behind them. Okay. I don't just get tattoos just to get tattoos. Sometimes I do. If I see something that I'm like, oh, I love that. I have to get that. Right. I put my own twist in it as well. Mm-hmm. So it, it, I personalize it at the end of the day still. Um, but my first tattoo was my tramp stamp. Mm-hmm. My last name. Um, I actually got it because my oldest brother has... Um, the Puerto Rican flag on his shoulder mm-hmm. with our last name in a banner. And it's like on clouds or something. So I wanted to, I look, I look up to him like growing yeah. up, he's like my role model. So I didn't want to get my first tattoo on my arm. And I was 18. I'm going to be 32 next year. So it's, it, it was one of those, how do I make this girly in a sense? Because back then, one stamp on the arm, that's not a feminine thing. So I ended up putting it on my lower back, and I did it with bubble letters. I have the Puerto Rican flag inside of the bubble letters, and then I have clouds on the side. So I still use the same thing, just twisted it into the right. girl version. Of it. Is that your only sibling, your oldest brother? No, I have three brothers. Okay. I have two older brothers and a younger brother, in which I ended up. Um, so my my arm that I'm working on, my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Um, I originally wanted to do a good versus evil type of theme to it, so I was gonna do like all 
pretty and positive tattoos up top and then everything like skulls and dark like literally right mm-hmm. right you know good and bad gemini thing and i'm very pro gemini <laughs> yeah. so i ended up getting me as a pinup nice oh snap yeah <laughs> dope. But, and but, 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 so i have a pinup on my back too but it's not me clear can you see her yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. So. The, oh, I like that. The glare. There it goes. Does the drawing? The drawing has a view. Is is it me? Does it have a tattoo on it too? Like you. It, she does have a tattoo. Oh shit. Let me get. <laughs> so that like that artist was like a tattoo artist was like legit like they. Well, I asked him to do it like that. Oh so okay. I asked okay. him to put the it, that damn glare so yeah i asked him to put it's a skull gotcha. so i asked him to put that there um because i actually because it's me as a pinup i have a skull on my hip yeah okay yeah that's what i figured yeah, yeah. yeah. so i but i did that before i had the skull <laughs> so i i had her before i got my hip skull so it was just already in my thought process, I'm going to get a skull on my hip. Yeah. So then mm-hmm. I ended up making this whole arm of family sleeve in which right. my little brother collects watches. So I have a watch for him. <laughs> and What's that? it actually has his birthday. It's 11. You can, probably can't see it. It's 11, 13, 94. Okay. And kind of did a whole time flies thing yeah so it just like that's dope so you got something for everybody Every, I everybody i'm missing my two nephews and my two nieces in which they're taking forever to give me something that they like so i can just add it to my sleeve and finish my sleeve right um, i have a f-22 raptor fighter jet one of my older brother um my brothers he loves airplanes yeah that's so thing and this is his favorite one so i got that one for him um my mom's name is margarita Mm -hmm. so sunflowers are also called margarita flowers so i got the sunflowers i didn't know that yes that's my grandmother's favorite flower i actually have one tied on me and i don't i didn't even know that yeah they're called margarita flowers too so um and then i have two dog tags in it Okay. My dad was in the army and he uh, made us dog tags when he was in there. He snuck in the room and made his kids dog tags and brought them home. <laughs> so I have his his first, last, and his birthday. And then I have my nickname that he's called me since I was a little girl. And what's that? Maruka. Maruka? Maruka? Yeah. 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 He's one of those, just comes up with the name and it, it's... Right, it's, right. <laughs> So I have no idea what the meaning or what, what the reasoning behind right. it. That never is, asked. Right, yeah. it's <laughs> and then for my cool. oldest brother, I have a Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. With headphones on it. I've never seen it. That's dope. I didn't even see that. So, I was idea before. He's a difficult one. So oh. I put the Rubik's Cube and he does music. So that's just cool. the headphones. So um, I, I see you're really connected to family. Really I am. big on family. And then I heard you say um, the Puerto Rican flag. So yes. you're full Puerto Rican? Full blown. 100%. And did you grow up in that culture? Like for real, like oh, full no. blown or was it? Oh, yeah. Well, when I moved like, here, I was nine. Okay. So, right. well, so you got it, but still, that's like a good mu- time but, right, though, as a right. kid. People it's don't realize chunk. that. Right. It's yeah. still a big chunk. And we still go back. Right, so right. it's not, and when I go there, I go to visit family and we go to the same places where I've been going since I was a little girl. Right. So we go visit family, we do our excursions. That family's there, still a part right. of you. That's you. Oh yeah, that's yeah. in my blood. That is. I'm just sitting here thinking like, if I move my 11 year old, you know what I mean? This has been a long time for her, you yeah. know? So if yeah. I move her now, it, it would still be like, as if she, this was where she was raised. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't, that's. That. I don't claim anything else. Right. Even though I was 
raised in St. Pete. I don't right. claim anything but Puerto Rico. Yeah, you were born on that born. soil. Like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I and was I spent right there. The fuck wrong with you? <laughs> right, it's not so. Like my little brother, when we moved here, he was three. So that's a different case. Yeah, He's a little bit. Yeah, way. Yeah, younger. Right. Yeah. Do you so, do you yeah. speak? Do you speak fluent? Yeah, Spanish. Mm-hmm. You gotta teach me, man. I suck. I just, okay. So how long, how, <laughs> he's like, he's like, you beat me to the punch. <laughs> yeah. How long? How long, how long would it take you to teach us? If you, if we actually like. I'm going to tell you the easiest way okay. and the fastest way to learn is to surround yourself with people who are constantly speaking Spanish. That's what I said. That's why I can't grasp it. I'm learning on an app and then I'm talking to my English speaking kids and they're like, I don't know what the fuck you just said. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> my best friend is Puerto Rican though, but we have lives. I can't call. Can we speak Spanish today? Like you yeah. know, what I mean? like we. Can How do you say this stuff. in Spanish? <laughs> I was doing that though at first, but it's like <laughs> you get caught up. She's at work and shit. I can't do that all day. So now, yeah. I got, by the time you know my day is, I'm like, man, shit, this shit's hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the best way is to consistently be around so you can speak it yeah. constantly yeah that's with any language that's with any language i think that's what's huh. going to be my problem is is the fact that i just can't constantly so so did you somebody so like it was as me and toya we both from florida right and i remember being in school and they had what was called the esol program yes i was and, definitely in that and like i remember first time being like exposed to like like girls that spoke Spanish coming to the school. And then I had an uncle, <laughs> it was funny. He used to be watching Spanish soap operas. And my mom told me he just likes to look at the girls on there. I, I was just going to say that. It's gotta and be and it was funny because mm-hmm. I was a little bashful about telling my mom, like, I go to school with some girls that speak Spanish. And I kind of, you know, that's like fascinating to me too. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm attracted to that because it was exotic. Still it's is different. Time, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel that same way about Americans? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to when y'all first come over here, y'all see us on TV and stuff like that? Or <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, no. I mean, me personally, mm-hmm. no. I don't, I don't, you got to realize I'm, I, well, I also lived in the mountains so I'm a country girl mm-hmm. and going from that view to city gotcha. all the time and buildings and cars and water's not the same. And mm-hmm. there's, there's, at first it was different. It's like, okay, this is cool. Cause I, I've never just been, stop being mean. I've never just, you know, been in the city Cause also my, okay. So my mom's from the mountains country and my dad's from the projects. <laughs> right. So he's like hood, like drive by at least two, three times a day or a right. week. And, you know, so we would stay at my grandma's house after school mm-hmm. or my grandma would watch us. So, so it, it was either, scenery with the green mountains and stuff or drugs and needles and drive-bys and crackheads and like that that's all I knew yeah that's that's all I knew so coming here it was interesting because there's so many different things but as far as exotic no because there's really no foundation I guess because it's a big melting pot I yeah. see what you're saying there's it's there's hard. no to me what what is American culture? It really Thank isn't. you. It you isn't. just took it right out of my mouth. Exactly. Yeah. What yeah. is the culture? There is no culture. Like yeah. nah. there's there's no culture. Like I love Jamaicans. I love Africans. Like I love right. people from Africa. Like teach me your roots. Teach me, mm-hmm. you know, your ancestors and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Like I I there's depth to that facts there's nothing to hear Mm -hmm. except for 
of pot mixed with all these different cultures. Right. There's right. no United States culture. I see what you're right. saying. Which is thing, probably thing. good because we don't I want, want to know what that culture, culture would be like either. <laughs> yeah, because it seems like they're trying to get close to that. And I'm, nah, yeah. no, but if you mix it, that's what the fuck we got to do. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I think it's a lot of material. Like Our culture seems to be like uh, materialism is a thing, a big thing in American culture. Um, when it oh, comes yeah. down to like stuff that we okay. buy, right. over here. even though, even though like, like black people, we like the orphans of America, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like, you know, we, we put the sauce on like everything, but at the same time, you know, you see people take and emulate that when it comes to whether it be they, they style a dress, they body type, stuff right. like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the sun's interesting. Would you being from uh, Puerto Rico, is that something where you never felt the need to go into it? Cause you see a lot of people, you know, they will get like they, they body done. You know what I'm saying? They get an ass job, you know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. they, they finna get their boobs done or some shit like that, right? And I noticed you use the hashtag natural things sometimes. So with you, like, if you wouldn't mind diving into like the diet and fitness regimen and stuff like that, like how do you maintain your figure to where you don't have to go to those links? I'm actually blessed because I don't work out. Right. I, do I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> I don't eat healthy. I don't work out. I don't. Yeah. I actually, since the pandemic, it's it's gotten bad because I don't work out. I, I haven't really been dancing like that. Like, you know, I have to, I work at an assisted living facility in the daytime. So I still have to watch where I go and who I surround myself with, with right. COVID going around when I have to go back and deal with these elderly people. Right. So I've been kind of easing into going back to work. So I'll work like a Friday or a Saturday and just once a week here and there. Prior to that, I was working Friday, Saturdays. Yeah. So, and I was actually working out, but I don't eat healthy either way. I, I just have that body that I could just eat anything. Do you think it's because you're from Puerto Rico? No. you feel like, is it? No, it's just you. I'm not, but before I had kids, man, I didn't care what I ate. I wasn't moving. My my weight was going to stay the same. I was slim and nice and I didn't have to do shit at all. I don't. I mean, no, I don't think I, you have to do where you're from. I think no, it does not. It, it's it's different. your genes. It's yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I guess that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Say say for example. But I have but I have heavy family. Like yeah. I have I have a mixture of both. I have heavy family and I have skinny family members. Like yeah. it's a mix. It just it goes wherever it goes. Right. I can gain weight if I was to like really focus on it and pay attention to it right and i can be even more toned and fit but i'm just being lazy <laughs> yeah i'm i am i'm being lazy because so i have the all this workout stuff and i don't huh so where does the, the core strength come from because the pull okay i see but that was something that was developed when you started like like i know the uh, audience honestly, right now we're just bringing them into it because you you work You've been, you've been, if you wouldn't mind just kind of dive into how long you've been dancing for. Like, when did that start? Almost 10 years. 10 years. And when you started dancing 10 years ago, right? You literally just, from just working there, that's where you developed that, that core strength. No, I, I, um, I used to play softball. I was a gymnast. I did ballet when I was a little girl. So there is a background to it. It made it a little bit easier for me. Mm-hmm. to learn the pole quicker because I right. am already an athlete. Yeah. But the pole absolutely builds core. Yeah. Like absolutely builds core. I used to I mean, certain, like yeah. Cer- and I even, couldn't do the pole at all. Yeah, even, even pulling yourself up, you're not just using your arms. Uh-huh. You're using your whole body. Yeah. And depending on what shoes you're wearing, depends on how much of a struggle you're going to have and the how weight, much. That, the extra weight, yeah. Right, because so the heels, some of the um, the dancer heels have patent leather, so it has a better grip on the pole. So mm-hmm. you can use the front of your foot to basically like hold you on the pole and push yourself up. 
Right. As opposed to, let's say you're wearing leggings and trying to climb a pole and you're slipping all over the place and that's, yeah. So if your heels have patent leather, it helps. Right. And it's mainly the ankle boots or the thigh high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it helps because it it has that grip to the pole. Um, But besides that, you'll have to use your whole strength to get up. Oh, yeah. At least it feels like it. Yeah. You're going to bruise absolutely <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness it's the bruising. A... It, it looks like you're getting your ass beat on a nightly like oh, yeah. on the nightly like you're in a definite abusive relationship for oh, real like my that's goodness. how it looks like if people Dead don't ass. know you and they like you know oh yeah. my goodness it looks gonna... bad yeah it does it I, bad. and because i i was not the pole person because my ass just couldn't i could not <laughs> get myself but i <laughs> i done not I was, you know, I was big on just more of like the, you know, the dancing part of it, you know Lord, what I'm saying? Yeah. You're really sensual and like mm-hmm. almost acting it out up there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but sure. like the, like I did, you know, I started learning though, kind of how to twirl around and look like it was cute real quick, you know what I mean? Like I just did something and just that fucking kicked my, I was like, man, hell what? I definitely can't do all them damn tricks. It's, I wanted to so bad. Yeah. But like, even to go to lift myself. And I'm like, a fucking bag of bricks? I was like, nah. (laughs) (laughs) I'll stay on the ground. (laughs) It's true. It's true. So it's the way you're describing it, right? It literally, like, I feel like I'm having a conversation with a professional athlete, right? Is it a thing where where there's some girls that get into it and they think, like, okay, shit, as long as I know how to, like, twerk, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a fucking music video, I'm good. And then they get there and they realize like, damn, I gotta be able to bring more to the table. And then oh, yeah. they actually but practice to try to do that. You but know what you I'm saying? don't. That's the thing is, is, is a lot of females and when they ask me, and it's so funny because they'll ask me if they can work or if, you know, at the club that I work at or, you know, mm-hmm. the next thing they say is, but I don't know how to work the pole. You know, I'm not anywhere near like you. I'm like, that's not a requirement in a strip club. And no. girls, hell no. Girls think it is. Oh, they but, legit. But, but, when they separate it though, because because my thing it's is, a it's, plus. Somebody... it's a plus. It's a plus. It's just a plus. It's just a plus because yeah. honestly, you can have a badass mouthpiece and not even get on stage and bank more and than bank. a girl who's making money on stage. I done seen it. Okay, it's I it's see. it's all about it's, your hustle. Yeah, it's literally you have to personalize it's a your room hustle. To, hus- yeah. to yeah. hustle, in your everybody own ain't got to be Kobe. Somebody you're can just not go be, going in there you know. saying, "Okay, you got to do this and do like like you're yeah. working at a fucking bank or you know what I mean, like specific training on how." There's no requirement at all, nah, just so, to look pretty and yeah. to be of age. Exa- right, exactly. That's it. <laughs> I know, I know the only place I ever had to go somewhere where it was a requirement of any sort was when I worked at King of Diamonds. Yeah. So that was really new for yeah. me. me. But that's there, also, that's also old. like a G5. Right. Where, right. Ne- where they. That's the next level. You have that's the to next meet level. the requirement. Like, yeah, it's, it's a. Next level. It's a Miami and like, you know, all those high places, Miami, Vegas, New York. Like you have to have a certain look in yeah. certain clubs. They will not hire you. Yeah, I used to work. Me. I used to work at um, Scarlet's in Miami. Mm-hmm. And when I first ever, first ever went there to try and work, I was with somebody, and they didn't like her, so they didn't hire me. Right. It's one so of those like, you have to go me. by yourself because yeah. if they don't like, it happened to me at Tootsie's. I went with a different girl. They didn't like her. They didn't hire me. Yep. Cause they ain't got time to even for y'all to beef, especially half the time when we do do that, we're coming out the way. We don't even live in that area. So they're like, y'all just go go home. You know, yeah. and, and not, not, not here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just to, like leave out the, the drama for real. But so girls go to apply I mean, together. Is that what I, is that what I'm hearing? Like you'll well, see when we go out of town. Oh yeah. I definitely have to go my themselves. home girl to this day, my rider, like, but there was times where she wouldn't work at a club and would support, like we'll hang out. You know, she hangs yeah. out at, at the club and wait till I get off. So is it one of those things like somebody to look out for you? Is that what it is? Kind of like, yeah. yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, yeah. we're, we're women, you know? Yeah. Anything can happen to us. So at least it's, the smarter it's more than things, one. You know? Yeah. 
you there's know, times I got into feature dancing, so it was times I had to travel sometimes by myself because what is that? You know, my home, uh, you get you're getting paid, so you get booked to come to a club. Okay. Because yeah. I hate I, I hated being in the club because I, I was I sucked I sucked at hustling though. That was my problem. Like I'm a tomboy. Yeah, yeah, I'm a I'm tomboy a, too. So it's, yeah. But see, I ain't know what to do with it, so I'm like, oh, I use it to my. I just run with it. Yeah, see, honestly, I'm not a V. It didn't work for me. That would that just didn't work for me. You know what I mean? My, you gotta. Everybody has their own thing. Oh yeah, I'm 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 stage. I'll try. I try everything in the world. I done did nails. I done did all kind of shit, like just to try to figure out what's for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Trust so, me, but, I love stage. Leave me on the stage. That was me. Don't I don't mm-hmm. got time to get down and talk. I'm like that was me. No though. VIP dances. I mean, okay, so I won't That's go me. around That's asking me. for VIP dances. I won't. I, I I just won't. I'm not going to. I used to get in trouble by some owner, like the management there. They'll be like, Toya, you like no, no, I'm not. I don't. Well, you know, they call me happen. Brazil. Like no. All right. No, I don't. Uh-uh. Mm, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Say what? No, I don't want to ask. Yeah. If you want to do it, he'll ask me. <laughs> like, really? Exactly. I, I was just going to say that. <laughs> now, if they ask me, that's a different, that's oh, a different sure, scenario. Sure. I'm not going to say no to money. I mean, depending Are on, you? depending right. on who it is, there's, there's times I mean, I that you do really... have to say no to money. Oh, oh, yeah. And and that I was big on that. I would say no to a lot of things if I felt like I it's, this is just not my vibe. Yep. And and I wouldn't go for it. So that's why I was like, just go find something else to do then. You know what I mean? And I left that field a long time. I haven't danced since 2011. I'm older. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's been a long ass time for me. Yeah. But I just was like, nah, just just and that's how I got into feature dancing, though, because I was like, I'm just working the floor shit just ain't working. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I hate it. I just sit in a corner until they call me. That's me. <laughs> or just, or no. just go take shots and start getting, and I'm, I'll make my money on the floor yes. in a way of like dancing in front of somebody and we're just like, you and know, we're having shots or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We're already we're out here. Fun. Great time. I'll dance Dang. in front of you in, in the open space. Yay. It's Once your birthday. You to, okay. Let's what? Shots over here. <laughs> They're paying for it, though. <laughs> right. Right. So, I, but see, I never really, I ain't gonna lie, as long as I was in the business and been, you know, an adult, I haven't found another person that was like that. Like, when I try to explain that, the other people are like, oh, what? Yeah, I'm like, nah, for real. I was, a, I, I, we would call it a stage whore. I'm a stage whore. <laughs> Uh, that's where I want. Please, <laughs> that's the only stage horrors in this house. <laughs> and I just get in that mode up there, and oh, yeah. I like you I'm on more, the pole. I'm sure it's the same thing. It's and a performer thing. If you're very, if you're a performer, I would you're very take it as a performing. Doesn't thing. matter if you work the pole or not. It you can do just perform. You're a so just like like I spoke of like okay, like it reminded me of like an athlete. So like when LeBron is a free agent. Right, everybody that's a sports fan be like debating over like, okay, where's he gonna go next? Right, so they're looking at the smaller shit. Oh, he's selling his house. Oh, his kid checked into this school. All this other shit, right? right? Is it certain reasons why a stripper may say, I'm gonna go work at this club over that club? You know what I'm saying? Is it kind of like that where they're like, oh, I need to go here because they got this popping or whatnot over here? You know what I'm saying? Well, you always go where the money's at. Always go where the money's at. Number but one. is it well okay well, well how about this is there certain reasons that it's more money at some clubs over others is it the, the way the club or? carry itself mm-hmm. it's the, way the, the employees itself? yeah okay yeah at that point it's not the dancers it's the club itself oh that that's a, a big thing okay so, so say so say so, say i got money and i want to start a strip club right and you're going to tell me the way i need to carry my club to be able to get the crowd like you speaking of what are some of those characteristics that these clubs you know, when you say the way they carry themselves, what are those characteristics? Well, well how they do in Miami where it's a certain, like, I, I, I don't believe in the, you have to have a certain look because not everybody looks the same. Everybody has their different look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to have variety. That is the number one thing yes. that a lot of clubs do not have. It's either black or white. Oh, yeah. okay. So when you get a club that's mixed, it's a lot better because you bring in all different crowds. Right. Okay. So you have different flavors of girls mm-hmm. to match the different flavors of crowd coming in. Right. 
But when you cater to one certain crowd, you're not going to get the white you're limiting girls coming yourself. into the black club. Yeah. Yeah, you're limiting. The, the club is limiting themselves. They themselves. don't even realize it. You know what I mean? They think this is just because I've been oh, in well, I have I've a been, club. <laughs> I've been in some where they're like low key racist. Oh, shit. Yeah. And that's all they really want is a So, so that happens in that industry you know I mean? as well. Huh? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. In the industry, it's even more so in places like Miami and Vegas and New York. Mm-hmm. Where the it's, racism it's, takes place? It's not where it takes place, it's where it's more out there. Okay. Yeah. Like the judgment. Yeah. Like our club is like this. And yeah. we don't care about who knows about it. Yeah. You know I mean? oh. Like very like. Out like this is what we are. And if you're not in these lanes, then sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> nope. You're not what we're looking for. Damn. Like yeah. dead ass. No, like, you have too many tattoos, too many yep. piercings. I don't like your hair. I don't like your clothes. I don't like your look. I don't like your weight. I don't like your height. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Literally. Man. I, it, it's it's like, it's it it's, like it's like cutthroat. Mm-hmm. It's cutthroat in those places like that. But mm-hmm. then you get the chill places like like Oz, where I work at, which Oz has always been chill. I've been there for so long because it used to be a predominantly white club. Yeah, and it used to be one of those prissy clubs where you and have then it would, to have it, it, on and you. Have Oz was have weird though. It would get mixed. It go white. Get mixed. Go away. Well, now it's mixed. Okay, now, it went, it went for back the mixed. longest it's been mixed. But okay, before okay, I right. started there, it was you have to look like a Barbie. Yeah, because it doesn't that matter eyes. the skin color. It's yeah. you have to have the big boobs with the pretty girl face and the makeup yeah. and the hair and the outfits and the sparkle shoes. And probably that one was of the odd. reasons why I stopped working at Oz. That I have awesome. to find something that was and that, like I said, that was a long ass time ago. Right. So, like, it was one of those places where I'm like, I'm not this uppity. <laughs> like, right. Like, like, right. Like, you know, right. I, I don't mind for being this in the clean environment, but shit. damn, you know. It, and I ain't gonna lie, correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes when you get in those more uppity clubs, it comes down to more of where you gotta have that talk game and really be sitting with the, because them men come in there with, you know, from having you know, corporate jobs and stuff like that. Yeah, because they get their corporate dick sucked. Yeah. So you 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 catch the vibe. And, and, and for somebody but, like me, I was like, I was going to say, nah, I'm trying to people, come in here and like, you know. Yeah, people like us, we got to make our own lane. And, and make it rain a little bit in here. That's all I was coming for. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sit and convince you out of fucking all your paycheck. I'm not, you know, it's weird. I'm not going to lie. At Scarlet's in Miami, I did do, because it was easier, I did do the sit down and talk. Like, I don't mind sitting down and talking with people. You want to buy me drinks all night? I'm all for it, as long as you're paying me at the same time. Because mm-hmm. I'm not just going to sit here and get drunk for nothing. Did, did all the bull, because it seems like it's a lot of bullshit, like from the racism to, I'm even hearing a little bit of classism, which is like, I didn't even knew, you know what classism was till I like got out of high yeah. school and was hearing people mention it and understanding like even within races yeah. there's classes you know what i'm saying oh, so y'all yeah. deal with racism classism all Everything. type of shit is Everything. that what kind of put you in the mindset of branding yourself outside of the club because i see you have your merch line like if you wouldn't mind talk about no. what influenced you to start doing that honestly just the just the popularity came out of nowhere so I yeah. I was like, hey, I'm just going to go make Team Marley shirts. Yeah. And then people were like buying them left and right. I'm like, okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Left it alone. People were asking, hey, you're going to have more shirts or, you know, what's going on? So it, at that point, it was a request. Yeah. Gotcha. So my mind went to, of course, when you... If you have a good head on your shoulders when you go into dancing, that's not your finish line. Mm-hmm. Really? You know. I, so, okay. you asked really. Like, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I took it like I took it in a sense of like it's crazy that people 
go in there and try to make like an actual career out of dancing. Yeah. So that's impossible. Cause, uh, cause that's something like, that that's is something impossible. I always wonder, is it, is it a thing where you could put in a certain, cause, cause this is, this is me. I, I I'm not, I ain't no stripper, so I'm not going to know. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, you know, people tell you, Oh, you go work here for 20 years and you know, there's going to be enough money. You're going to make it a week where you can retire. Right. But right. my thing is, well, if you look at the money that I've always heard of strippers making, right, depending on how they manage the bag, they technically could do that shit for, say, from 20 to 35, from 25 to maybe 40. And if they manage their money right, they got enough to, like, kind of retire some shit after that time if they manage the money the right way based on the money you hear that they make. But think you know about it. 35 is not 25. Mm-hmm. So who in their right damn mind wants to be 40 and dancing? Hmm. They're yeah. not in their right damn mind. <laughs> right. I'm not I mean, you. if you do right. it, let's say, let's say I did it from 22 to 30. Right. And I put all that shit away. Yeah. You can retire in that little bit of, you can retire in one fucking day from dancing. Right. It, right. it It's, but it's not what everybody makes it out to be. It's not money every night. So the money ain't like that. Yeah, yeah, hell think, no. Yeah, oh. see, hell no. There's nights that I've gone Thank you. home with nothing. With nothing or just enough to and, put in my gas. Exactly. Like, people don't, people, listen, a lot of people are, this is not even just dancing. One thing about it is this world, I'm sorry, I'm going to say, are just really blunt and just straight up. People lie. Let's be real. People I lie. I don't give a fuck if you're working a corporate job to your entrepreneur, to your fucking, sh- I don't give a fuck what it. People lie, okay? They're and they set show. it up and they act like this is just all this and all that. Like, it's now, not. not saying you can't turn around and do something because not to just name drop, but let's we're, we're talking about some real shit. So let's make an example. Black China. I was in that very same club at the moment she was still there. Mm-hmm. She didn't, I'm sure, didn't take her shit. I don't know. I don't know her business as far as vesting and made her. She just found something else to do. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like she just sucked the right dick. I was trying not to say it like that, yeah, but. (laughs) (laughs) Just say it how it is, because that's how it is. You You get lucky and boom. Find your way out. Find the right person. I got out on a way more, I got a whole story behind that, you know, way more um, different situation that was way different than someone leaving the club, because Lord knows I didn't fucking get out and be with anybody. So I didn't have a way out. I, I made a sacrifice. So for, you know what I'm saying, my children or whatever at the time, but man, people are not like, like she said, like, bro, there's times we're not leaving it all. Like what the fuck y'all think that's every day? Nah. That money ain't going like that. And then you got to think about it like this, bro. That's just unrealistic sometimes to sit here and be like, you're making all this money and you didn't save it. Bitch, I got bills. I got to buy my wardrobe. That. I have to keep up with my, my fucking part. everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it pays to come in here to look like it. You know how much money that costs. Let's go there. And then if you a bitch with your own crib, your, your car, kids, if not, whatever the fuck, life is expensive. So it's just almost unrealistic to sit here and say, especially with fast money, people that get fast money. That they're able to save. been somewhere by now. Them probably the ones you don't want to talk to about dick. Cause it's coming so, in so, so fast. So we have like so much the, shit to pay for. Yeah, the way, the way like, yeah, y'all sounding kind it's like of drug money. Just, yeah, I was gonna say We're it's like it's like people who talk about <laughs> people right. who think like okay, they can <laughs> right. get into the streets and they're gonna make all this. We the club the They understand it's like the club well, is a cartel. It's like well, you have to re up. They're they, they not <laughs> yes. thinking about that shit. Yes. They're not thinking about well, when you get your money and then you you flip that shit, you got to take what you done made and and re up to flip and continue. It's a process, so it seems like y'all go through that same shit where you, you constantly gotta, have to spend money gotta, to make money with this shit. Damn right. People got to understand that it's also not like I said, like she said, it's not a daily thing. Let's say I work. And it's not that too. I work Wednesday through Saturday. Let's say. I work Wednesday through Saturday. Right. This week, I might make $10,000 Wednesday through Saturday. Next right. week, I might make $100 Wednesday 100. through Saturday. And, it and why, 100? Like why 100? Why 100? Because let's say 
you look at the money that you actually made when you pay your bills you you didn't make nope. shit no nope. no nope. and then a lot of people get caught up too this is like the worst cut like when you're you make fast money, drug deals, everybody that can make fast money can, can vouch for this. You'll make that shit. And for some reason we think I'm going to get it again. And you go to spending that motherfucking shit. So you're like, because you know your hustle. So you're like, I should, I'll be able to get this shit again. Right, I'm gonna and you might go through a like- fucking drought for like two months where you not going to see that 10 grand again in one week, not in one week. You know what not I mean? In one week. So you probably didn't, let's be real, who else, let's, you got to be real about everything, who else does not, there's a lot of people that when you start making money, or as soon as you make money, you might go get that fucking bins off the lot that's going to cost you $500 a month now, versus the $150 car note that you had on your Honda, let's be real, who doesn't do shit like this, this is, that's the American culture life. is about material, it's the, you, you, you hit it on the head when you said that, actually, Alex. Yeah, if anything, we're about as fucking material shit. Yeah. And that's the cycle that we're in. And it's a real cycle. And, and it's hard to break. We're thinking so very so hard. Is, it, is it a such thing as, like, uh, management? So what I mean by that is, you know how you have, like, teams. You know what I'm saying? You might have, like, you might have a team of girls that might uh, dance at a certain club. You know what I'm saying? Because I noticed y'all say y'all go with another girl. Is it a thing where girls may click up and let each other know, like, hey, it's going to be a party out of town. We finna yeah. go, like, three or four girls get together and say, hey, we're going to let each other know. We're going to do this party on the West Coast. We're going to mm-hmm. do this shit in Miami. We're doing this shit in New York. So that way they can expand their portfolio. So that way they can really make a living off this shit. And make but a it's, to but it's more so of just a friendship thing. So you just end up clicking with somebody who you work with at the club. Mm-hmm. And you see that you guys make good money together, so you just go from there. Yeah, it's gotcha. not it's not like a I'm gonna put a team together. Let's go try. Ain't no ain't no coalitions put together nah. like, like some shit like yeah. that. It literally just happens. There's a lot of other things that play into that world too. Yeah, you know. Um, also, I'm not, I'm not trying to like it's not like you know being just or anything, but I mean close people to me, you know. People are, are on drugs, you know, got issues, different oh, situations. Com- like, yeah, that's a big situation that drugs, man, that's big. I, I, I have chills talking about it because it's not something that's funny or anything. It's, it's a real situation. And people don't know how many people are really like the women in there working are on drugs. Fucked up. Fucked up. And High as shit. Don't even remember what happened the night don't, before. Oh, my God. I had a group of and girls. And that's that every night. With. And they would, they'd be, I mean, not only in there fucked up, but some shit to go down, a fight to go down. Somebody steal some shit. And these, they'll come back and like, I don't know what the fuck happened. They don't even remember. You know what I mean? And, 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 and so it's, it's a real fucking world it's, to be yeah, in. Yeah, it's, it's not this fucking. It, if about think about business. everything it's out in this business. world, all the drugs and the violence and all that stuff, all in one club. It's all in one spot. It's all you you're honest. talking about the real street. When we say the club is the cartel. Yeah. Where the where the dope dealers on the block. And we in if the we, fucking we're in the hood. And I don't care really how fucking pretty it looks. Yeah. Or how hood that motherfucking club is. That's the, that's the, that's concept. the system of what's going on. That's it. Because you got cartel and plugs of drug dealers that wear suits and ties. That doesn't mean, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't mean, like, you know, it has Anything. to be so hood. But that shit's still that that lifestyle. That same stuff, yeah. And it's like that. That's, and then that's the reality. The crazy it. thing, especially nowadays, <clears throat> because it's praised to be a stripper, mm-hmm. um, you get all these. It, it, it's like a high school now. It, it's literally... I feel like a senior who's been held back like five times because I see all these 18 year old girls fresh out of high school. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. The, they don't even try to get a job. Probably. They just go straight into the club. Didn't even, have, they're not even going through no struggle. None. They're just pretty with a body because they ain't had, you know, no kids and shit like that yet. And because like, it's the thing to do. Stripper. I'm going to be a stripper. Yep. That's how it is nowadays. And that's the, that's. I started dancing at 22. I don't even know when I, I think 23 for me. 22, yeah. yeah how, 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 how does, um, 
how does being a dancer affect your love life? Like, is it, it has there ever been a time where <laughs> somebody it. approached you and you took it serious? You know what I'm saying? I, and it was like a customer. Like, there was a customer and they approached you, but you took it serious because the way they moved in the club, you felt like, damn, okay, I could legitimately, like, I could see myself with somebody like this. Is that ever something that happens? I personally have never taken anybody, any customers. Um, I would say there, there's actually one guy, the last guy I dated. And I think I met him as the door girl before I started dancing. Mm -hmm. And then I started dancing and he came to the club. And then after that, it just became a thing. And I actually stopped dancing because I personally don't feel comfortable people all over me when wow, I have somebody in a real at home, yeah. right? Yep. But it's different. Every relationship is different. Yeah. Because now me being with a stripper, why am I going to be like, I'm not going to work because I don't want to, I mean, you go make your money. I'm going to make my money. And it's just a, a bottom line. You got to have that trust factor in that part. Right. I can know. agree with you. I've never had a relationship out, out of the club. Like people that I were actually really dating and like sleeping with and being with, like in a relationship, they weren't someone I met there. And it wasn't some, um, that, you know, like, and like, and actually when I got in a serious relationship, I did the same thing. I, 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 that's when I would leave. A lot of us leave too. Uh, yeah. when we get in relationships, that's when, you know, we didn't got in a real relationship. When you don't see it coming to work no more. Yeah, that's what happens. But that's I how mean, you know you have morals. I mean, for the most part, yeah. because some girls will only stop dancing because the person they got with has money. And they're paying them. To and now. they're paying everything. So then when they fuck up, then here she comes back. Yeah. And, no, I would actually play a regular role. You know what I mean? Like a go out and get a regular job and, you know, be yeah. let me go and, you know, be of the mm -hmm. world or whatever you want to. Still have it. a job, but yeah, not in yeah. the club. Yeah, not in the club. Yeah, so yeah, I can agree with that totally. So, so, so it seems like the whole soccer mom, you know, wife type shit, but still be a dancer shit. That shit is all. That's not realistic. Like you don't it see is. that. It is. So you, so you've worked with you've worked with people where they're they have full out families, mm -hmm. and this is kind of how they providing for their family. Like they got a husband, they got kids, and and their family understand. I mean, the kids may not know. You know what I'm saying? But right. you've seen that. So there's actually a lady that I work with at Oz that she's been there. Let's just say she's put all of her kids through college. Right. By dancing. I mean, she has a day job, but right. she makes dancing money. Mm -hmm. And she has, she's an old, like older lady. She's like 50, 50 right. something and somewhere around there. Um, so, but now like her kids and she's had relationships, like she's had men that she's been with and they know that she's a dancer, you know, she doesn't let any of that stop her. So when you, when we were talking about making it a career wise, that is the only person that I have seen that can make it, made it a career and did something with it. Yeah. And is now. She says she's going to retire, but it's, it's just the life. It, you get used to it, especially when you're, you're doing it that long. Right. And the money, it's just a second job for some people. See, something like that, I feel like it should be a movie about stuff like that. Because that's but like, that's like real, a real untold I, story. I wasn't, but, it's weird. I wasn't able to. Um, that's where my sacrifice had landed with my children. Um, and I wasn't in a relationship. I was I was single mother too. So it was like, I don't want to keep leaving them at night. And with, you know, even though they're with a the babysitter and stuff like that, but I'm, you know, paying for this and all that. And it was like, I just, I was torn between wanting to be a real soccer mom, like for real, not up all night. You know what I mean? Like trying to get my rest during the day or it just, it was just weird for me at the time. But what is like crazy now, like, I like I do OnlyFans. I just got into it, just breaking into it, and that for me is like I'm kind of back in the world, but I'm not. I've had it for but a couple of years. I've had now it my kids years. are older though, like they even know. 
You know what I mean? I'm very open with my kids. People might not agree with, but I don't, I'm not hiding shit from my kids. They, they, and they're your kids. I, at the end I don't, the for one, I don't condone things. So with me being real is more of a teaching thing than this is what's up. Like, this is cute. Cause they already know I look like this, but I'm dead serious. I'm not right. going to play with. Right. Like, this is just mean? to please the crowd. But yeah, well, no, I just, this is me because I'm weird. I like my fucking hair weird. I like me weird. I like tat. I, that's me weird. That's not me. You do. I hope you like it. Cause bitch, this is what I'm doing this week. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's me. So I don't do that at all for anybody, but they, they're, they know me now, you know what I mean? And I know me now. So now I'm back at a place where I'm not going to change. You know what I mean? I, I can't fight against who I am. So if I feel like this is what I need to do to make money, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Like, but when you finally found yourself, it's, it's like you found a balance. Yeah. And, and being and all free. Of it. Yes. Yeah. And being free. And that is the best feeling in the world. Ever. Just free. Like, fuck what you think. Fuck what anybody thinks. Right. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I feel best for me and my family. Like, it's it's the best feeling ever. And so how does OnlyFans work for you then with that? Like, OnlyFans is just an extra check for me. Right. Right. I don't... I... I have... Income wise, I would say is OnlyFans, the club, my day job, my merchandise. Mm -hmm. So I shit, that's four right there. I don't touch. <laughs> yeah, so babe, I got You're four jobs. <laughs> You're doing good, shit. So I don't, I don't touch certain money. I don't like that is the way that I save because I'm not good at saving money. Yeah, I'm horrible at it. To make sure you have extra. That's what yes. I just learned. I didn't even know my, I was learning that. My fallback, that. just in case I need it, it's it's there. I didn't even know I was learning that just now. By having but, it extra, like making it extra. Making extra like, and not, not even touching, touching it. Yeah. yeah. Just okay. leave that shit there. I'm just yeah. letting my OnlyFans rack up. Yeah, I haven't even. <laughs> if I <laughs> have it. to withdraw. If you have to, for sure. Right. If I have to withdraw for whatever reason. That's the I only good thing about stuff. it. Right. But besides that. That's basically my savings account. Do you see? Do you see? It's, it's a possibility. There's some some young girl out there that is techy and sexy at the same time, and is gonna really like fuck this shit up and figure out a way to just focus on OnlyFans, right? And be able to like be on like the like. Do you feel like we can foresee a girl being on the Forbes list type shit? And she oh, got there yeah. off of OnlyFans because she understood how the technology shit worked and how to market herself and, and all of that. Do you see you it possibly become, having that big of an impact one day? You can become a millionaire off of OnlyFans mm -hmm. if you do it right. Yeah. There are so many ways to make money off of OnlyFans. Right. Like itself, yeah. that itself, there's yeah. so many different ways to have an income. And within your subscription, okay. you can make more money right within the same program yeah yeah so sure. your your content can get tipped yep you can do a personal one-on-one -on -one and they got to pay for whatever you send them um you can refer somebody and you get a percentage out of whatever they're coming in with right like it's so many different ways to make money just on only fans yeah you think it's gonna have an effect on um the amount of people that go to the strip club and say, you know what? No. I'm just going to do this. Nah. No. Not I at all. I think I heard somebody say that recently and I'm like, fuck no. Not at all. Th those two are... Humans need physical contact. Need it. Gotcha. I don't they give a damn how good it. it is. They might I log on care. there at the end of the night, you know, if they're just home, but I'm a, I'm a for going outside. You know what I'm saying? We just had Corona and that shit was like, people were like, bitch, I'm ready to go. Right. I'm go to the club. Right. That was a perfect example. That is a perfect example <laughs> of humans need that. contact, physical need contact. That, they too. need they need something there. Right. Or they go crazy. Yeah, I don't They lose it. You can't you can't it doesn't matter how much of a what's the word um introvert you are. I don't know. There's there it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, eventually you're gonna need some kind There's of There's enough money contact. for everybody out here, man. For one people and that's another one. Costumes. That's another one. People's checks aren't their last checks. You feel me? So if I went out to the club last night, that don't mean I don't have money to spend 
tomorrow while I'm at home to go subscribe on a girl's only fans. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. people money ain't just stopping at one stop at one place. So right. you do, know. do you do you see yourself um ever like completely stepping away from say not only dancing at the club? Only fans, ALF, and just hopping into something completely different than the way that you're generating revenue right now, or is it like? Oh, absolutely! The, That's been my whole life. So, 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 all, so everything right now is kind of just for the time. I get bored being. easily. Okay. As as here comes the Gemini again. I get mm -hmm. we get bored easily. I'm yeah. sure your kid, you'll you'll pick up on that with your kid. Uh -huh. It's the ADD thing, and, mm -hmm. and it's like. When you beat a game, what do you do after? You gotta right. find something else. I'm not gonna play the game again. Right. I already played it, I already beat it. What's right. next? So if something is repetitive, it won't last for me. Yeah, drive you crazy. You're like, it gets boring. Yeah. I need, like working in the ALF is like working in a daycare. Mm -hmm. Different every day literally and i work in a mental facility so oh, yeah so for sure it's definitely a different person the same <laughs> resident just today it's a different person a different every situation day. Yeah. every day <laughs> so with that i i don't feel i will i mean i might be there for a while um friday will be my one year anniversary there actually mm -hmm. so nice yeah, I'm proud of myself for sticking it through. Yeah, because you probably like, this is not, this is a I'm big like, fucking... Uh, why? <laughs> I have no freedom. I have no freedom. I want to go here. Why? I want to go to the beach today. I, but then, if I only dance, I'm, like, depressed in the house. I have nothing to do. Yeah. I have no purpose in life. You're draining. Your energy draining another to way. Day. Yeah. I'm going to so wait till Thursday because the rest of the week is worthless to work. Like, you know, it, it's. Do you have anything specific that you know, like, this is animals. something else I want to try? What is it? Animals. So animals, animals have been. Okay. Growing up, I wanted to be a vet until I seen one of my ex's dog get put down because she had cancer. And it was like the saddest thing in life. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, I don't yeah, want to be that mind. doctor. I don't want to be that person to be like, I'm sorry, I have to put your best friend down. Right. Like that is depressing. And yeah, I do not is. want to be that person. But I still want to work with animals, but mainly exotic animals. Like wildlife biology right. is, is a thing. All the, all, the, all the animals we can see at uh, the Neverland Ranch with Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> goals seriously like goals bubbles. like i want to look out my window and see my giraffe just walking right. by like <laughs> right yeah yeah who does it though where, where i'm that telling end? you like come on like my my goal um is to have a monkey yeah i so wanted one for my 30th birthday and it didn't happen but right <laughs> yeah i'll make it happen you'll get your monkey where did that where did that <laughs> where did that come from like, is that something when, when you were little? Like, where did it? Because a lot of people, you know, they just be like scared. Like, unless it's like in America, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's like a dog or a cat, you know, people are afraid of being anywhere near like any I was raised in a mountain. Gardens. I mean, that? not, I lived in a mountain. I can't say I was raised in the mountains. But okay. Yeah. I, we actually had, I, we had a horse. I had a horse. Really, it was my dad's horse. But, you know, being the only girl, we take everything from dad. Right. So all his all his uh pajama pants and his t shirts right, right. and I'm daddy's girl, so I took everything, even his horse. Right. I said, Daddy, she, I said, Daddy she's no longer yours, she's mine. Right. <laughs> um we had we've had a horse, we've had dogs, we've had rabbits. Oh yeah. So you we had a dwarf mean. cow. My dad had a dwarf cow. I wasn't oh born God. yet. Um we had a goat. Um yeah, so I mean I yeah farm animals and just weird creatures are the thing for me yeah. you know coming from an island so i don't know i just love animals right like i i really i i don't like people but i'm yeah. good with people right right when you say the mountains like where at specifically if you, if you don't mind it's called trujillo alto say, say it again trujillo alto trujillo alto 
Yeah, Trujillo Alto. I, I think I said it right. I don't know. It's just yeah. like Trujillo Alto. So. <laughs> and that, is, that is based where? Where can we? Where is that? Where are these mountains at? If we want to. In Puerto Rico. They're in Puerto Rico. Got gotcha, yeah. you. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Real quick, um, and I, I don't mean I'm not trying to like drag you any further, but um, with you being a daddy's girl and everything, how did your parents take to you with like dancing and all the you know those? Events? I've always been. I don't think I was like. Yeah, I might have been like the worst kid that mm-hmm. my parents had. Yeah, uh, the most, <laughs> the most uh, trouble maker. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know which way to put it because right. I was always getting in fights. And yeah. I, mind you, <laughs> I went to a private Catholic school. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was always in the office. The nuns would call my mom, and my mom had to come down and whoop my ass. Right. So, always in the office, always getting in trouble. Um just and I have so three always brothers. Been that, like rebellious kid so. and I have three brothers yeah. so I I got treated like a younger brother I didn't get I treated like brothers. a younger sister yeah I got five brothers so I know I yeah have sisters yeah this is why we're so much alike <laughs> yeah yeah I feel you like yeah, Zero I, yeah sisters. that explains too I didn't even think about it either that explains why you're like that too in the club yeah okay yeah yep. i got it now okay yeah yeah. three yeah. brothers only girl yeah. yep that is, I, so, actually so, I, I have a younger sister but she's my kid's age so oh, yeah I didn't she grow doesn't up count with her yeah she doesn't yeah, count she, that's what, yeah, she <laughs> like i grew up with five brothers though so yeah i get it i get she it she doesn't know the, the the growing up life so you so. being the rebellious one which i was the one i was like more hood than everybody too but so yeah so. i was just <laughs> so, like, I, listen i was kind of like I, expected then since is that that's the case like, no it wasn't okay no all right. All right. no like, nothing oh, nothing i've done has ever been expected right <laughs> nothing i i honestly can say i don't think my parents ever expected me to do anything i feel like i talked okay. and topped and okay. topped and topped like i feel <laughs> like like i think stripping was like the the cherry yeah. It, it, you know, it was the fight. Then right. I actually played strip tonk in high school. Right. You and got caught. Tonk? That's you what you caught. Strip tonk. Right. <laughs> in science class. And I had these two little white boys in their boxers. No oh, lie. Oh, shit. Yeah. I lost okay. the last yeah. hand before the bell. And I took my shirt off, but I had a sports bra on because I had gym the prior class. You so was bad as hell. <laughs> bad as fuck. So, yo, teacher didn't pay no attention, not, like nothing. She did not know anything. Right. Class is over. Next thing you know, my next class, I'm getting called to the office. I'm like, the fuck am I getting called to the office for? Yeah. <laughs> Go to the office. I see the two boys. Like, what the fuck is going on? They so they were me? bragging. <laughs> they were bragging about the fact that I was in a sports bra the class yep. before, and the teacher heard them. Yeah. And we got in trouble. Yeah. But I'm looking at them like I had you in boxers. <laughs> right. Class. I'm yeah. fully clothed. And the only thing I was talking about is me and my sports bra. <laughs> so. As soon as I left the office, I'm like calling my sister in law. I'm like crying. I'm like, please let me sleep in your house tonight. (laughs) Mom's going to kill me. They're going to kill me. I'm not going to come out alive from this one. She's like, I'm so sorry, but I cannot help you with this one. Hell no. So it seems like the way you're speaking of it is it was. It was like expected. Like when it happened, it was like, you know, no shock, no shocker here. Like we, we kind of knew like to expect the unexpected. So right it, it, it was it was the actual act that was unexpected but yeah coming from me not unexpected okay gotcha. yeah gotcha. like okay. like i can't believe this girl did this shit right. but it's this girl so why couldn't i believe that right so Type right now with you, you your careers that you have in there well it started it so after i feel like after the strip tonk situation came yeah. gay Okay. And actually, at the time, I was bisexual. Okay. So I was getting my ass beat for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And I told my mom, I said, that's why I like girls. Yeah. 
right? <laughs> and she's like, what? Oh, Lost no. her shit, made me call my girlfriend at the time and break up with her on the phone. Oh. It was a whole scenario. So then after is, that, then after that was were, dancing. Uh-huh. But this here with the girlfriend, thing, you, were, you were in high school at this point? Yeah, I was in high school. I okay. was about 15, 16. So mm-hmm. this is when, and I, I, I hope I'm not disrespecting. No, go let's ahead. Let's just say this. Let's just say this. It wasn't as quote unquote universally accepted at that uh, time. Not at right? all. So not at all. So that that being said, um, and I because I noticed you said you saying you reacted to your mom saying that. Um, so I'm only using your words. Was it more of you just being kind of like facetious towards her, derogatory, or do you feel that played a part? You know what I'm saying? Was it a hundred percent a joke, or do you feel like maybe the relationship with your mother maybe played a part in that in the attraction? No, no, no. See, I was I was so coming from a very, very strict and old school Puerto Rican family, I got my ass tore up constantly because I was always in trouble. So um, that night actually, uh, I was doing my chores and I wasn't allowed to go anywhere. We had a pool party at I think my brother's house or something that day and I wasn't allowed to go anywhere until I was done with my chores Mm -hmm. which I did um I did laundry I put I had to do laundry and leave my brothers on their bed for them to do but I would have to fold and put away my parents stuff and mine so I did all that left my little brother stuff on his bed when we got back from the pool um pool day um my dad asked me to help my little brother put his stuff away. And I got pissed. Cause I'm like, you guys let him go without him doing his chores. But I couldn't go anywhere until I was done, completely right. done with all my chores. Yeah. And now you want me to come and help him right. put his stuff away? Like at that point, I, I definitely had some balls to talk back to my parents and it got ugly. Um, so, When I managed to get out of getting my ass whooped, Mm -hmm. I meant to run to my bedroom and lock the door, but I ended up running towards the front door. And my mom spazzed out because my oldest brother actually ran away from home. It was kind of the same thing. He was, it, it was literally the same situation. Yeah, like you take he was tired of my dad putting his hands on him that he like took off right at 16. He and so my mom, I guess, she blamed herself through all the years of everything. We didn't see my brother until he was 18, I think, graduating from Mm -hmm. the Navy, like from boot camp. That happened to my oldest brother, yeah. He so did the same exact thing, and he left us and went into the military at 17. Yeah. They had a sign, his right, her, my mom had a sign of rights away so he could leave and go. So yeah, that's crazy. So he joined, yeah, so he that's joined, crazy. and we saw him in Chicago. Um, mm-hmm. So that, I guess, gave my mom a flashback, me running towards the front door. Right. And it, it just like she spazzed out, and she managed to grab me before I got outside. And grabbed me and put me in my room. I was pissed at her because the whole time I'm getting my ass whooped. What are you doing, lady? Yeah. Like, I'm seeing you just stand there. Like, the fuck? So I, and, and it was, that was the reasoning. Like, I'm talking to my mom, crying, yelling at her. Like, you're not, like, you were just standing there. And then. I don't know what she said. And it was just like a word vomit. I'm like, well, that's why I'm gay. Like I just said something along those lines. It was, it was probably intended to hurt their feelings. Of course. But there was no correlation. Right. Because of the situation that was going on. Um, But even then after that, it was like, she made me break up with my girlfriend at the time over the phone. And it was like, I'm magically not gay. Yeah. (laughs) Right. So I had to still hide that yeah, and 
sneak around and say, I'm going to go to the movies with my friends, but really I'm still with the same girl that you call, you made me call and break up with. Exactly. Because I ended up seeing her in school the next day. Right. And explaining to her what happened. Of course. So it, it was a whole process. And then um, dancing, actually tattoos. So after my first tattoo, my dad's like, all right, you're done. No more. Yeah. <laughs> my second tattoo, he's like, I thought I said you. Were done. I you. I'm like, you said I was done. I didn't say I was done. Yeah. So after my second tattoo, I had to hide my tattoos. I would hide them for a couple weeks, a month, and then I was just magically be like, fuck you. You right. like it or not, it's my body at this point. I'm 18. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. um, then after that was the dancing. So dancing, it was so funny because you know how they put the ad on the newspaper that says uh, dancers, but it doesn't say that it's like a pole dancing. It's a strip club. It just says yeah. dancers wanted, blah, blah, blah. So. Uh -huh. My mom knows I love dancing. I was in ballet. You know, what? dancing's yeah. my thing. She's like, "Why don't you yeah. try that?" So I'm like, "All right, mom. If it's a strip, if it's on the pole, I'm gonna get on the pole." She's like, "No, you're not." I said, "All right, I'll let you know what it is when I get, when I go there." Sure enough, it was baby dolls. I was there too. <laughs> it was baby dolls. I tried it out. I tried it out once. Tried it out once. The actually, I I that was the first time, yeah. and. Never went back because my mom that same day asked me, she goes, so how did it go? I said, I told you if it was a poll, I'm getting on it. She's like, fuck no. She's like, hell no, no. She's like, no, we're not doing this. So I ended up being the shooter girl mm -hmm. at Baby yeah. Dolls. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up being the door girl. Yep. And after the door girl, I've actually always wanted to be in a Playboy magazine. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to start dancing. And right. I started dancing at Treasure Chest. At the time, it was like brand new club, mm -hmm. just opened. They were looking for girls. I'm like, let me try this club. It won't right. be packed. You know, it's an easy start, if anything. Mm -hmm. And I've been dancing since. And right. then when my parents got wind of it, I'm 22. The fuck right. are you going to do? You know? Right. But of course, they're in my ear. It's not good. And my mom's an all Catholic woman. Right, right, right. Um, but I ended up turning it into a sport, which is what I do with everything. Right. Which I ended up showing my mom down the road, you know, mm -hmm. my actual poll videos. Yeah. And I'm like, mom. And normalizing not. it. Right. Like, I'm like, I. I'm not doing what you think yeah, everybody thinks not of like a strip club. Yes. It's not a whore. I mean, to an extent it is, but not you every are your dancer. Own person. Right. Every dancer has their yeah. own thing. Yeah. I'm not back there doing the whole nine and exactly. the extra stuff. I'm literally putting on a show. Exactly. So when they yeah. started to notice and realize that it's, it's a show and I started doing the pole competitions at Dollhouse right and you're really like you said making it a sport and and you're doing that and then also a parent knows their child right and i think that's how my parents always cope with me just ending up doing what the fuck i want to do because at the end of the day they know like i'm not going to go too far into anything where i'm like right. but also you're shit. not going to stop me from doing something you're I definitely wanna. not going to stop me <laughs> So <laughs> the right. only thing I could do is help you normalize it. Like how you showed her right. those videos. Like right. I can normalize it with you. Like ma, like this is, you know what I mean? Like this right. is how I move. You know what I mean? It's, right. it's, it's yeah, it's crazy. But yeah. And then it just became a thing. It's, it's more, a, a more common thing to do pole work. So mm -hmm. they just, it, it got to the point where my mom would be fun. Like she's actually helped me straighten out ones and count ones. And oh, man. Yeah. it gets like that. It, it gets it, like it, that. It, like, you, trust me, our, real, our, though, that's how your world starts working with you. Like my growth, real, who you are. Tough. My that, growth that's why was tough. Like that with my kids. I'm real. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. My growth was tough. Oh, wow. Like, as, as you yeah. hear, <laughs> yeah. it was very tough. But it's very rewarding these days. Yeah. Like, I have the best relationship with my parents. 
Right. Okay. So it's like. So even despite like. So all and they they joke through. with the gay stuff. They just now I'm one of the boys and right. you know like <laughs> everything everything, all the pain, was. I don't want to say it was worth it, but I mean, if that's yeah. what I had to go through to get yeah. where I'm we at now. We just talked about that. If we now, didn't go through our pain and the things that like our lessons, like we, we, we wouldn't have known anymore. anyways how to do it then anyways. I just, I just figured that out myself. Like why beat myself up about what I went through when I just didn't know the answer to that at that time. Right, right. And, and now- the way, the way you're opening up about trauma, right? And then you're opening up about, you know, your sexuality and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Do um, do strippers ever have, like, like, therapists? Like, do you ever see that where it's a girl that dances, but at the same time she has someone that she's sitting down with to kind of help, you know, unpack that? Because I'm just, I'm just guessing that can be a lot on a person. A lot of, a lot of people in general do not have somebody to talk to. Yeah. So. I've never known of anybody that. So, and it's not, and it's not. It's also a, who do I trust with my personal information? Hmm. Because it's not hmm. just that you don't have anybody to talk to. There's plenty of people you can speak to, but who yeah, do you trust. truly want to share that vibe with? Like that personal stuff. And then they don't turn I've, it around and use it. Yeah. Anything. Like I, right, right. I've, I've come to my freedom and to, to just, I can talk about anything and everything that's happened in my life. Right. Because it's painful right. and I, I could talk about anything and I'll even cry while I'm talking about it. Yes. But it's, it's, you can't use that against you're me not in ashamed. any way. I'm yeah, not. You're, you're I'm real not. with who you are. You're free and you're not ashamed. So it's like, if you did want to take this fucking information, talk about it, I'll tell them too. At this point, like, there's nothing like, you, you know can I mean? say or yeah. do that's going to make me feel bad about what I've lived through. Facts. When, Facts. Did, when did you, when did Marley become that Marley or were you always this way? No. Was there a defining moment where you was like, you know what? Fuck it. There's nothing about my, you know, my story and my life. You know what I'm saying? that mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. I fully opened up my whole, well, I can't see my whole life because my parents do not know a lot of my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My hurdles and my, my little dark cloud. Your personal. Yeah. I, some, I, I, simply because very- I don't want, I, I base things off of people's reactions. If you don't react the way I think you're reacting, I feel a, a way. Right. Whether it's a good way or a bad way, depending on how you react, it's and I don't, I don't like not knowing things. Right. So when I say, you know, this is what happened to me when I was like this many years old, I can tell people that. I can't tell my parents that. Uh, I don't I don't want to put them through any kind of pain I don't want this to be a conversation I don't I like I don't even want that in your head just I I don't even want that yeah like I especially when you just got yourself over it too in a sense like it's not like it's you're all you're over it but it's like right like I'm okay with you you're like there's no need to just drag this out and right drag people right. through it and right and, then, and it's like, been open so up many a years scar. yeah you, right you, and it's literally been so many years. opening up a scar again like okay and, this and bitch just closed and healed Dude, like I just dig, dig, healed just. <laughs> like, or, or okay. even just starting Last to fully week. heal like right. it, it's okay. it's there's moments i have I'm my moments out. not gonna I'm lie i have my moments i have my moments where i'm just like down like shit like i why am i thinking about this right it might be something that triggers a a memory of what happened and i'm like trying to find something else to to yeah throw that away and and just think of something else but i don't i just personally don't want to put my parents through that yep i can relate I'm exactly. comfortable talking to anybody about it. I'm not comfortable talking to my parents about it at right. all. Right. Yeah. All. 
and I think it's mainly because I don't know what their reaction is going to be. And I don't want to hurt their feelings, whether it's what happened or why I took so long to say something or if yeah, I you feel like believe you have to, what I say. For me, I feel like I'd have to go through it again. And I don't to, want to be like, to be when like, it comes this, to them personally, yeah. I have to share this with, with other people. It's like, okay, this is just me, me you know, whatever, but this is what happened in my with lifetime. Them, it's like, I'll it has have to, to be a situation shit again. And I'm like, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to relive that. I don't. And when you're doing, I don't know what it is. Cause I don't understand it either. Like, you know, how, why is it when it comes to them specifically? It's because it's, like, it's, it's scary. It's yeah. scary. Think, okay, you have kids. Yeah. Think about, you know, if your kid was yeah. to come up to you and tell you some wild like story. 30 that, years later. It, and how are you going to react? You don't know how to react. It's going to be like living through it again. Yeah, you don't know how I, to If react. I have to know my child went through something 30 years later, I would be living as if it just happened. And exactly. I guess that's what we know. Exactly. That they're feeling and that's right. us having to live it again. Because we right. know that now y'all are living in it like it's new. Right, right. Because you know? it's new news to you. I got chills you. from that. That's yeah. just like crazy. <laughs> it's news to you. It's new. So you're going to want to know why, who, what, when, where, how. like All that. And I don't want to go through all of that. Mm-hmm. I and, want and, you to know. And have them feel it. It's like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want you to I know. But I but I don't if it's oh. gonna come to that. Yeah. But the so love, I, the love, but the love from them still matters to you. It seems. But it seems, it seems as if you found a way to cope. get their love and not worry so much about the acceptance. Am I right when I say that? You know what I'm saying? Where it's just kind of like, or they just kind of started to accept you to the point where it's just like, you know, because when you spoke of her, you know, counting the ones with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like at this point. They're, they're, they're loving you for who you are and it's, you don't right. want to get in the way of that. Right. Yeah. Right. I got you. Right. I, I mean, even though the news I would have for them is not, is not anything to do with dancing no. or being gay. So it's not, it, it doesn't have, that's a more whole other can of worms. Is it that, more ch- childhood? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. It's its own can of worms. Yeah. Like my sexuality, my choice of job. That's adulting. That's different. It's that's not something. Trauma. Right. Yeah. Right. It's not trauma. It's not trauma. So it's it's different, it's different in accepting what I do as opposed to accepting something that through. happened to me that I I did not give the okay. I thank you, you know right now. Just even I have to tell you this real quick. I gotta thank you for even helping me to understand it vocally because <laughs> I recently glad I can help you. came out with you know stuff that I went through and I and I'm not making this. I just wanted to just say thank you for real because someone asked me like, well, why don't you want them to? This was like the same conversation and I didn't know how to really to explain it till just now getting to talk about it with you, you literally brought me to like, that's what it is. Yeah. That's why I don't feel comfortable to do that with them yet. With them, or yeah. And ever, if ever, or if ever. ever. Yeah, if ever, I don't feel like I'm ever going to want to. If, if ever, if it I'm just good. happens to come out one day, it happens to come out. But yeah. for me to make it a thing to go tell yeah. you, not going to happen. Yeah, because we actually made a show uh, with, you know, just me personally. And, it, it, and so I was like, they're gonna see this. And it's I, like I'm the not, Eminem thing. It's I'm like, not ready for that. You it's know like the Eminem. I like, remember uh, the him well, when his. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what type of music you listen to, Marla. But I'm assuming you've heard of Eminem, obviously. Of course. Um, <laughs> when we heard all them records when he came out, and it was just like such Real a shock to all of us at that time. It was like, oh yeah. shit! It was like, bro, like you know his shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I think that's I think that's how he blew up though, because a lot of kids was feeling Hell, that. Yeah. Because you can really relate. Know how to say that Hell, shit to like they you can relate. Dad. When you can relate to somebody, it's always going to pop. Always going the, to boom, always going to be there. Because he took the color out of trauma. There's it's, no color it's real and trauma. There's no even fucking different kind like you know what I mean? Like uh what would you call it? Like how would you separate it? Like how would someone separate that? Like I basically I just I guess I'll just leave it like that. Like there's no color in trauma. Mm-hmm. 
and he did that for us. We were like, yeah, fucking so see, cool. even, you know what I mean? For a, a white boy to come out and be yes. like, and bitch, that. I was broke. I was abused. My mom, you know what I mean? I seen drugs. I seen my mom. That was like, whoa, okay. And especially are. coming from a white boy. That's especially another thing that made boy. it a big thing is because. We needed that. We needed that. We needed. It's all Eminem. about the minorities. The, mi- the minority is the one that's always suffering. Right. And people can't relate. Caucasians, white people can't relate. But when you have they something do. like Eminem come out and show you that yes we can really i think that's part of like the trickery though because i just don't think we're just so far as what they try to make us think we are i think that's like they're one of their things their tactics to keep people like at a lower vibration and not really understanding what the fuck's going on because we're like so relatable all of us all of us all of us you know what i mean like it it just there's no like i guess there's no color and fucking trauma and that's something if we can understand that we should just get to a point where then there's no fucking difference between no color in anything period yeah yeah but that's the hype that's what you know Mm -hmm. like sex sells that sells too since we on music and you dance is there i I gotta i gotta notice are there certain um vibes listen to every music I listen to all types of music, all different music. I I used to not be able to get into jazz, but yeah, I like I like it all. Gotcha. Country, everything. Rock, Spanish. So there's so you mean to tell me a strip clubs out there where they playing country music and, and all that. I've danced to country music. Oh, Purpos- shit. Purposely, purposely. Oh, you didn't yeah. know the strip clubs with country music? I oh, no yeah. oh yeah! What the fuck? Yeah, no, I actually I requested a song. I, I ain't been in them type of. Trip. I <laughs> I've requested a country song before. Yep, as as uh as as hood as I am, I have one of my favorite country songs that I used to. It was only one, but I danced to it, and like yeah, rock all that shit. Yeah, yeah. What Definitely. you thought, Alex? What you thought? <laughs> hey, but I mean, as but, a dancer, I mean, when you speak on it like like Marley told us. You got the black clubs. You got the white. But as a dancer, you hear all types of music. Bro, as it, I know I don't care how much you are. As a dancer, you definitely get a chance to know music. Like, and I mean, I know like hood motherfuckers like me, and we know like country songs, music. You would call it. Oh yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that shit. Like, yeah, like because girl listen to country music, but I, I know learned it. a lot yeah. of it out of strip clubs. Like it would be like, and I have favorite songs now to this day because I was in the strip club and I got to learn. Like you know what I mean? I had to listen to it. Shit, I was in there and I'm like, Shit. right? Don't have a choice. Gotta no. be there for the seven eight hours. <laughs> Especially if a girl requested and that's the shit she danced to. She time. danced to what? Man, shit. <laughs> you gonna hear that shit every time she come on that over. Every there. time. <laughs> <laughs> At least two three times a day. Right. You guys, your congratulations. Instagram, your, yeah, your Instagram you, like, gets shut down quite a bit. Do, would, would you happen to know where like that stems from or? Hating assholes. <laughs> I tell you, cause I didn't got so, now that I didn't start this little world, them bitches got my shit taken down so fast. I was like, what the? Mad f- for what? So what, they, what? They, like, they like reporting it and? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, they report. That's they what report I got to realize. I uh, know, honestly, it got to a point where I legit think Instagram has it out for me. Like Instagram themselves. The because you know I have Maybe. I have a friend who worked for Instagram. So she was behind the scenes and she could tell okay. me who reported my stuff. Oh. Or if somebody took my page down from Instagram, she would be able to find out who took but my that's page what I'm down. Saying. Do you think it stemmed from the people reporting it and bringing light to Instagram? My page. And now Instagram just like on my she, ass. We ain't got no choice but to keep knocking her down because people just they're fucking. I feel like that's the case because be. because I understand I I post certain pictures, right? Like my Taco Tuesday pictures, but <laughs> my Taco there's Tuesday. so much worse out there. <laughs> Dive into that. So what is it about? Like, what is it about? Like, so what is it about? Report this shit. Like, so what is it about? What is it about? What you post that you think I is no the closest idea. to 
the race because you mentioned Taco Tuesday. Is it something about those posts you think specifically? Because no, it's it doesn't have to be even those posts. I got let me see. Somebody can see an ass crack on my picture and report it, I and Instagram the, will take it down. I think the really? freer, the freer and happier you expose yourself, people don't like that. Like people you're, don't. You, you don't, bitch. This bitch don't care about. Bitch, why are you so happy? Yeah, is exactly. that why you ain't got and no drama like, in your life? Uh, uh-uh, I'm gonna report this shit. This shit is disgust. This bitch. This, this shit is too happy for me. Mm-mm. Right, too happy. This is against guidelines. I don't like this. Like that. I really because people. They don't even understand that when they're seeing someone post what the fuck they want to post, do, that's freedom. Do you, right. you got to look at it like this and let's be real about, no, this is, I don't care what he would say. This is exactly how it is. If someone is caged in their own brain, programmed and dealing, knowing their program, but dealing with that shit and can't get out. It's like a person in prison watching a motherfucker right outside their fucking cell. So. Enjoy freedom. Mm. Literally right outside their cell. You're gonna not you. I will hate that fucking person. Like I will feel like you a low key. Bitch, I want to be free too. <laughs> right. So <laughs> it, when people don't even realize that they're not free, and that's why they're mad. Yeah, that's a they're personal problem, baby. That has nothing shit, to do with me. Where they feel like maybe my body, I can't do it because my or I just people talk about me and they worry about that type of shit. So they'll never free themselves. They'll never will either. You know what I mean? And that is that for real. That that's gonna fuck with someone. Watching someone free and not being free is gonna fuck with you. So, for peop- so people that's watching that might not know, would you mind diving into Taco Tuesday? Exactly, what is that? Because yeah, I was curious too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, taco. Yeah. What's a taco body part? <laughs> yeah, I figured that part. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Gotcha. But I, it's just the print. Yeah. Gotcha. Like it's not like I'm. Here's the ego world. I mean, I, I am on my OnlyFans, but you have to pay to see that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's totally different. <laughs> but I'm not, you know, right. I I know what's going to attract the crowd. Right. I know what's going to get my page followers. Yeah. I don't care what kind of followers I get at this point. Yeah. Just enough to have people share my stuff. See, and on I'm the- on the borderline on how do I do that, but and maybe you can Hashtags. help me. I don't know. And not get canceled. <laughs> you ever thought? You ever thought? You ever thought about taking some of them followers, Marley, and like maybe developing your own like list, like like me a mailing list or some shit like that. Like, cause having a business and merchandising and having to rebuild your Instagram, and you obviously have a theme. Like you just spoke of Taco Tuesday. Like, if you wouldn't mind speak on that process of trying to retain your following and trying to be able to mobilize it. You know what I'm saying? where you're not just confined to Instagram? Well, I don't know, because I I use a lot of, I just, how I have four different incomes. Okay. I have Rude. Um, I have about, what, four social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and now I have TikTok, five. So I kind of just juggle all of them throughout all the, all the social media. So if I lose my Instagram, most of those followers are on my Facebook. I have a lot more followers on Facebook than I do Facebook and Snapchat than I do now on Instagram, obviously. So I don't, Instagram has become, because I feel like I'm targeted by Instagram themselves at this point. Like there's no way, there's no way that people are reporting my stuff all the time like that. And there's no way that my page gets taken down when there's other stuff worse and other stuff I'm sure is being reported. So I don't really care about Instagram as much right now because I still have Facebook and actually I'm trying to build my Twitter because you can have literally anything on Twitter and oh. your page will not get taken down. Okay. You and can I, I don't even have a Twitter. You can post pictures on Twitter? Girl, you can look up porn and they've been telling me to get uh, Twitter. Let me not do that. I was about to go on my phone and be like, look. 
Bro, I, 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 I'm, I, I gotta get like, it's, I'm, it's, I, yeah. it's wild. Twitter's wild. Twitter is okay. very wild. They can, I think, I'm pretty sure they can report your stuff, and it, but nobody does. Yeah, that's like, not the world for that. And then, Twitter's and not I about that. All social media is different worlds. Like I'm TikTok famous, literally. Like I don't know how the fuck it happened, but it happened. And I, that shit, that I got that shit unlocked. But it's, TikTok's easy these days. And, yeah, Instagram was a slow. I'm just it's now getting slow. follower. That shit, it, it moved the slowest. Instagram moved my Twitter. On everyone, you'll like, like Twitter. I need to go ahead and just start a Twitter. They've been telling me this. I need to. I'm, you'll I'm, like it. I listen. I've had my Twitter page since 2009, and I didn't really, really focus on it until mm-hmm. recently. Yeah. And I went from like two to five thousand followers to ten point three. Okay. Within the last couple months or so. Yeah. Cause I've yeah. really been focusing Keep on my it. Twitter. Yeah. So Instagram has become a if it gets back up to the seventy thousand that I had, it does. If it doesn't whatever uh, that's what i have twitter and everything else for exactly because i have my facebook i have a hundred and i think i have like a hundred and thirty something thousand on my mm-hmm. personal page mm-hmm. plus my marley page is got about 11 to twelve thousand. like the professional page itself on my right. facebook the fan page and then my Twitter got ten thousand there. Snapchat, I get like four, four thousand views on my stories and stuff. So it, you know, Instagram right now is whatever. That's yeah. the redheaded stepchild. Exactly. Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they piss me off. So yeah, for real. Like I've had so many pages, and they've all gotten to at least thirty thousand. And it's weird because I um a girl I know. Um, she posted, she's not new, but you know, she doesn't have, but she's covering, like, it's mm-hmm. not, it's beautiful pictures. And I posted it because I just adored the, the photography and, your shit. and, um, they, she's a lot of posted, but they were like, bitch, we'll shut your shit down. They sent me a message like, bitch, we're taking it down and we will shut your fucking hole. I was like, what the fuck? And she can post that shit though. It's her yeah. page. I'm like, uh-huh. what? Like, oh. Another one, I, I actually have, that. so the last Instagram page I had that got deleted, there's actually a fake page out there that we, I had so many people and myself keep reporting it. It's probably still out there. Mm-hmm. Never got deleted, but my page got deleted. But I'm reporting it that this person's yeah. trying to be me. They be on some weird shit, bro. They're weird on, yeah, they on some other so shit. You, you think that's the real page, but me that has like 40,000 followers and I'm, I'm reporting this page that has 2,000 followers. I'm with you now. I think they, they picking. They, yeah, they really I'm like, dead. Choosing. I'm dead serious. They, they have me under like their radar. Like Yeah, they're choosing. Magnifying glass. That's, they're the little angry kid. I'm the aunt. Yeah, right. <laughs> I swear. Well, we, we thank you so much yeah. for taking the time out, you know what I'm saying, just to share thank your story. You and. Me? And where you are, and where you where you going next, and things like that. Something we ask every guest to do here on Pretty Lies or Ugly Truths before they go is to shout out, you know, five people in their life. Because you know they say we are some of the five people that we communicate with the most. Like literally, we are. So the five people that play a part in the reflection that we see from Marley, if you wouldn't mind, just shout out those five people uh, right now. In, five uh, people. Gosh, I'm a family girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got like 13 it's like <laughs> our my immediate family is 13 so I can give you those 13 I can give you right. the the 10 aunts and uncles that I, I have from my dad's side right. <laughs> okay so, yeah. so, so shout I, out, shout I have out a support family. team shout out to the family shout out to shout out to you guys for having me thank, thank you, you. Oh, this was you this was awesome time. This was awesome. I'm down to come back always. <laughs> That's what's up. I am. I enjoyed this. This was good. I appreciate and it. And I'm glad yeah. I can help you out. Oh, hell yeah. yeah I'm yeah. so glad. Great. I love helping all people level out in any way possible. As we all level up, we definitely have to link back up. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And talk about our new levels. 
Absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's and it's, and it's no such thing as a, a hate on me. <laughs> it's no such thing as a shameful plug here. So you can go ahead and, and, and like take the floor and like shout out everything from your hashtags to your mm -hmm. at signs to websites, oh, whatever, okay, where people can you find eight. your stuff at. All right. So let's start with the social media. So my Facebook is Marley Negron. Okay. Um, How do you spell that? Marley and yes. Negro with an N. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody's reaction. Oh, that's another one. My last name. It's Negro. Negro and I wanted an to ask you that earlier. So people are just magically chop off the last N and they look at it and they're like, uh, what Negro? does your tattoo say? <laughs> it says Negro, bitch. Yes, it does. Like, how do you just magically that's erase crazy. the other N? <laughs> It's that's whatever. Crazy. Um, my Twitter is <laughs> my last name with the number three. Right. Um, my Instagram is M A R L three and then three Y's. And once you put the number three, I should pop up. Right. Um, with my little unicorns. What's my? I did my Twitter. My Snapchat is my last name. Period. Mar. Um. I also, my Marley merchandise is on my Instagram, which mm -hmm. you could just order through there. My merch manager is the one that runs that page. So people don't think it's my page. Right. I'm not the one replying. Right. Don't bother messaging me on there. <laughs> not there. Message me on my personal page. Because, <laughs> I mean, he'll transfer it. you like, um, this person said this and this. And I'm like, thanks. Right. <laughs> he'll deliver the message. But, yeah. So, yeah. Dope, dope. Well, we're uh, <clears throat> glad that uh, we, we could have your time and plug everything you got going on and, and wish you nothing but prosperity moving forward. Yeah, likewise, likewise. likewise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Teamwork make the dream work. Right. Always, baby. Always. <laughs> sure. All right, have a good one. All right, y'all enjoy your weekend.